Hey folks, so I wanted to talk a little bit about how I teach atlas work. So here's a plastic atlas and um, just wanted to talk about how we actually work this area and how I teach work in this area. Um, yet the atlas is really interesting because you know we see there's no uh, spinous process and so that means there's a little bit of area for us to be able to palpate. So what I actually end up doing is breaking down the palpation of the atlas into several planes. So here, let's say for example, uh, this is a client in supine position. So they're, face, they're facing up this way. And um, one of the first things I need to do is I need to uh, be able to palpate the transverse process of the atlas. This is going to help me to figure out how to um, how to feel where the atlas is in space, and that's going to help me to formulate a strategy of work. So, uh, one of the first things I want to do is I want to see where the atlas is in space in this plane, the coronal plane or frontal plane. So, one of the things I do is I actually bring my fingers up in here, uh, sort of like an occipital hold on each side. And I feel for which side is more difficult for my fingers to actually be able to sink uh, up in. And when that happens, I get a sense that it's possible that the atlas may be uh, um, kind of more superior on one side versus the other. So for example, if my fingers were, uh, if it was difficult for my fingers to, to come in between the occiput and the atlas on the right side, then it's possible that it might be um, more superior on this right side. So that would help me to formulate a strategy to work muscle tissue on this side to be able to uh, um, have that tissue relax and have that atlas kind of come back down to a more uh, level plane. So that's the, one of the first things I would do is feeling for movement along the coronal plane. The next thing um, I have my students figure out is where is the atlas in relation to the transverse plane? So what I do is I show my folks how to palpate the transverse process on each side. And sometimes what may happen is, uh, for example, my right hand middle finger may actually be able to sink in a lot more than my left hand middle finger, even with the client in neutral. So that may give me this idea that um, the atlas may be shifted more to the left. So now we're getting a kind of a picture of the atlas. Um, so for example, if my right hand middle finger sank in all the way and my left hand middle finger didn't sink in all the way, then I might have this kind of left lateral shift. So like I said, I'm having now a picture of the atlas. Um, if I combine the other information uh, that I talked about previously, we might have something like this and something like this. So we now have this kind of uh, um, superior move and then lateral shift. And finally, the next piece of information would be rotation. How does the atlas feel to our palpation in rotation? So again, we palpate the transverse process and sometimes we'll feel that, uh, for example, my right hand middle finger may feel a little bit kind of more posterior in space compared to my left hand middle finger. It might feel a little more anterior in space. And then I show techniques to help the atlas kind of find its way into neutral position. So if we combine all of those things, we might have a picture of this, this, and this, as opposed to this being neutral. So again, this way, this way, and this way. And uh, I like to break down this, um, you know, these, these palpation techniques because it helps us to get a picture without getting all too overwhelmed by uh, touching the atlas and, you know, what may be going on. That way we're able to break it down and figure out what's happening with the atlas and then figure out how we can help to uh, bring a kind of a natural, neutral uh, position for the atlas. So that's it, folks. I hope this helped. 
and let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching. For more information, click on the link in the video to get exclusive content.